Evening, everyone. It's about uh, 545, and this is your closing comment for Monday the 19th. It is video number 858, and it was a particularly ugly day. Uh, the first thing that I want to mention, though, is that if you listen to this morning's video, you would have heard about the break that I saw in the oil and expecting it to come down maybe to the 67 area. Uh, we actually got down to 65.56. This morning's video was done. We were only down 275. We closed down almost twice that after being another dollar lower than uh, where we closed. So uh, very ugly, ran right here into the 100-day uh, moving average and uh, bounced a little, but I'm not so sure that this is over. Uh, the other thing that I wanted to show you is the gold, which I really like. It wasn't down enough today uh, in the GLD to uh, add to the position, uh, but we got right down also to the 100-day uh, MA, which uh, came through at 1791.30. The low for the day today was 1795. So. Uh, the trend line, the 20-day turning back up, and the 100-day, all right there. Um, as far as uh, the market, the S&P bounced off the 50-day moving average and rallied a little, but the uh, hammer today seemed to be the 10-year um, note yield, uh, down to about six, uh, 117. It actually closed 119.9, so just... A shade under 120. Um, we were down, uh, I guess, at the worst about 950. We finished down seven and a quarter in the Dow, down a little over two percent. Nasdaq acted better, down at 152.25, only one percent. Um, S and P was down. I think I saw it down about 98. It closed down 68 and change, 1.6%. The Russell, again, weak, down 1.5%, down 32.56. And the transports down 227.65, uh, 1.57%. Um, advanced declines were weak, as you would imagine. Uh, but uh, they did improve. The worst that I think I saw in the um, NYSE was about 11 or 12 to 1. They finished 5 to 1 to the downside. Um, the uh, NASDAQ never got anywhere near there and finished 2.6 to 1 uh, to the downside. And volume was not exceptional. Uh, it was about average, 4.4 billion. Okay, after the close, IBM and um, JBHT both had earnings. They both beat um, JBHT, JB Hunt, uh, doubling their earnings. The stock had closed 159.68, down 527 or 3%, traded all the way down to 155. Uh, the last I have is 156.60, down 8.35 in total, or 5.06%. IBM, on the other hand, went the other way. Uh, closed the day just down 72 cents at 138.18. Um, reported big beats and solid uh, metrics and rallied up to 143.84. Last is 143.01, up 411, 2.84. Uh, Peloton was a little higher, DocuSign was a little higher, but um, Zoom, on the other hand, was down $7. I don't think that that was a work-from-home issue. I think that was a using stock to do a deal with FIVN, which is 5.9 um, Corp, uh, in stock. It's about a $14.7 billion deal, so Zoom was down $7.77. And 5.9 was 188.12, up 10.42. So down 2.2, up 5.9. Um, NVIDIA was all over the place today, all on the upside. The stock closed around uh, 7.52, up almost 25. Tesla also closed up. 
Okay, so the uh, home run of the day, seemingly, uh, cytokinetics. They have a new heart drug that in phase two trials uh, produced great results. The stock had closed at 1923. Uh, that was um, this morning traded as high as 3141. Uh, last I have is 2740 up 817 or 42%. And ARDX, another biotech uh, company, let me get the uh, exact name for you, ARDX, um, Ardelinx, A-R-D-E-L-Y, X, Artelix. That was the disaster du jour today. Um, uh, the stock closed yesterday at seven and a half. This morning traded as high as 772. The news came out after the close and the stock traded all the way. Let me see where it closed actually. Regular market hours closed $7.70 up on the day. Since then, it's traded down to a dollar sixty-two, and the last is a dollar eighty. That's down five seventy, or seventy-six percent. The only time I hate it worse than today is if I have a position. Um, and tomorrow we have housing starts and permits first thing in the morning. Um, as far as uh, sectors, uh, consumer staples were up. Uh, my sectors were uh, pretty much the same, with the exception of uh, food supply chain was a little stronger. Uh, the biggest losers, of course, energy, financials, industrials, and materials. All 30 of the Dow stocks were down at the close. IBM, as I said, rallied after that, but um, not in regular hours. All right, everyone, I'll be back first thing in the morning.